So recently I've been having a look at a way to measure the power consumption on devices that can't be measured using smart plugs. So things like my hot water cylinder or my heat pump. Now Zemi Smart was kind enough to send me out some devices. First of all, they've sent me the smart power metering device. And along with that, they've sent me their own Zigbee Hub, which connects up to the Smart Life app. So I'm gonna have a look at these and see how they work. Now this is the first time that I've ever tried out any devices from Zemi Smart, so I'm really excited to see how they work and how they integrate with Home Assistant. So this is a really neat looking device. Um, as you can see, it's got these two cables coming out of it, and they've got two little metal connectors on the end there. Now the way this is designed is that it is used to be connected directly at the breaker. So effectively you're connecting your 220 volts or 110 directly from the breaker and then you are running the live wire of whatever you want to measure through the little hole in the middle here which is going to use inductivity to effectively tell you how much current is running through this wire. So it's really neat looking little device. Um, it can easily fit inside your switchboard. Um, it has got a little QR code on the back there. Um, and it's got a little flickering LED here that will tell you the status of the device. When you first turn it on, it'd be turn it on, it's flashing slowly. Then when you go into pairing mode, using this little pairing button, it'll start flashing faster. Once it's connected to a Zigbee hub, it will go to a solid green. So along with the smart energy meter, Zemi Smart has kindly sent me this Zigbee hub that uses the two-year connectivity via Smart Life. So let's have a look. Inside the box, we get two cables. We get a uh, network cable. So this is quite cool. It's hardwired into your network, although I suppose that does limit you because it needs to be near your network hub. Uh, the next thing we have is a USB-C cable. There is no power supply with this, so you would need to supply your own. Next up, we have a short little antenna which just gets screwed into the back. Quite a clever idea. So I'm assuming that will improve the connectivity range of this. Having a look at the hub, we've got the Zemi Smart logo down the bottom here. It's reasonably small. I think it's about 90 um, millimeters across. Um, it's about 10 to 15 millimeters deep. And at the back here, we have our three connections. So we've got obviously our networking plug, USB-C, we've got a reset button, and we've got our antenna connection here. So I click Add Device on the Smart Life app, and as you can see, it's come up already discovering a device. So I'll go Add, and there we go. It's showing the Zigbee Hub, and it's just adding it for us. So I now have my Zigbee device showing up here, and all I need to do is go Add Sub Device. So I've powered on the Zemi Smart Smart Energy Sensor, and I'm going to go add sub device and let's see what's going to happen. Device is in pairing mode. Okay, so we need to press the pairing button on the device. So when I originally plugged in the energy sensor, it was having a slow flash. I then held the pairing button for a few seconds. It went to a fly fast flashing LED and now it's ready. So device is now in pairing mode and I can select device in pairing mode and it should pick it up. So there we go, it's picked it up. We'll just select next and there we go. It's connected up my smart metering device. No data at the moment. So currently I don't have any cable running through it with any power. So I'll connect some cable and let's see what's gonna happen. Now that I've run a live wire carrying some current, through the actual measuring device, you can see here immediately that we've got some monitoring coming up. So we've got 236.5 volts showing, we've got 0 0.248 amps, and we've got 57 watts. So now let's go along to my home assistant and see if we can get this information pulling in here. So because this is running on Smart Life, I'm gonna go along to my two-year integration that I set up in my last video, the new Home Assistant to your integration. There it is. And as you can see, this is awesome. You don't even have to do anything. The moment you add a new to your device, 
it is automatically pulling it into Home Assistant. So there we go. As you can see, we've got our current coming in there. We've got our power. We've got our voltage. Everything is working. So this is amazing. Now, I've already had some comments in the video description of the last video about concerns about Tuya, not wanting to use Tuya and the cloud again. Now, I had my own experiences with them and I ended up giving away all of my Tuya devices. However, the new Home Assist integration so far has been rock solid. I've been running it for a couple of days now and no issues. Now, and using it now to pull in this Zemi Smart um, sensor that I've just loaded up, I'm very impressed at how easy it is. You don't have to do anything. You just load it to the Tuya app it already, already pulls into Home Assistant immediately. So anyway, I'm going to be monitoring this and seeing how it goes. If I do have any issues, I'll be first to let you know. But anyway, that's all for now. If you enjoy my content, please like and subscribe, and I'd love to see you in the next video.